How have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. Yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it's all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. Evening. Hey, Arthur! Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. Lights. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. When I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No, just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Hey, this is Private. 
John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. At least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. 
And let me come on the raid with yous. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Here. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Barely. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards roads. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Tia! Mr. Marsh! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join hey. us on there. All right, get on that Master. train. All yours, Captain. So go on ahead. Oh, oh, shit. Stay calm and nobody will get. 
get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. No, please. Don't help me. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't run as me, please. Want to count to three? God damn it. God. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. I think she got goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery! Let's make this quick! No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You, you sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around Quick, come on! Just put the gun down, they pissed. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't make me hurt you. What is it? Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Oh, I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh, oh. I don't have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Harsh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come off the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Man, uh, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up.
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Trist told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it.
This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Hold! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! There won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean. Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we arrive back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn, you okay?
show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern to you. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.